Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my wash day routine, which is why I have on this um, bonnet. So I look a little bit crazy, but we're going to fix that. We're going to look cute. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys my wash day routine. It's very simple, very easy. My first video that I put out on this channel was um, my hair routine. I haven't cut my hair since then, so my hair has grown quite a bit. The products that I use are pretty much the same, I'm going to be completely honest, but the way that I do my hair is different. So if you are interested in seeing that, just keep watching. And while you're here, you might as well go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more from me. I promise I'm going to be consistent. Um, yeah, let's just jump straight into the video and thank you for tuning in. All right, so here is the reveal. My hair out of the bonnet. It's looking really crazy. That's my nest right now. So we're about to hop in the shower and wet the hair. And you wanna make sure that you separate your hair and allow the water to get all the way in there and just kind of spend a minute making sure that your hair is completely soaked from the strands all the way to your scalp. You wanna make sure that it is very wet. Now I move on to a co-wash. This one is from Mix Chicks. I've had this one for a while, I really like it, but I like to co-wash before I do my shampoo because I like to double cleanse because my scalp gets very dry, so I find that double cleansing really works good for my hair. For shampoo, I'm using AG Hair and I'm using their Balance Shampoo. I really love this shampoo because it has apple cider vinegar and that really helps with controlling the dandruff in my hair. And again, I'm just gonna work this in primarily on the scalp, let it run through the hair strands and then we'll move on to our deep conditioner. For the deep conditioner, I'm using another one from AG Hair Care. This is their Reconstruct Keratin Repair Mask. I'm going to leave this on for about 20 minutes and cover my hair with a plastic bag and sit under a dryer. And I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit because I think using the heat really penetrates the hair strands so much better than if you're just leaving it on in the shower. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll be back to rinse that out and finish with the styling products. For the leave-in conditioner, we are using the Fast Food Leave-On from AG. And I really love this leave-in conditioner because it is so moisturizing and so thick. As you see, it just locks in that moisture throughout the week and I just love using this product. So um, after this, we're gonna be moving on to the gel. I just use two products for my hair when it comes to styling products. That's really all I need. I don't overdo it and it works for me. Now for my favorite part, which is gel. I absolutely love this gel. I spoke about it in my first video that I made about my hair. This is the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. It is hands down the best gel in my opinion for natural hair. It is so moisturizing, it leaves your hair so shiny. It's just, it's just right, not too thick, not too thin. It's the perfect gel. So we're gonna finish off with this and then I will be back to show you how I actually style my hair. All right, this is my hair out of the shower with all of my products in. 
So what I'm going to do now is just kind of shape the hair and finger coil the pieces that are really frizzy. So that's usually like the middle part of my hair. Usually the outer area is just a little bit smoother. So all I have to do is just kind of smooth it through my fingers, maybe rake it through. And that's really all I have to do. I really love the length that it's at right now. I know I always get questions about why I had cut my hair. Yeah, my hair was just too much to deal with. Like I had to buy hair products every single month and y'all know natural hair products are not cheap, okay? But my bag was empty. This was taking all of my money and the amount of time it took me to do my hair, my wash day was usually about, I would say an average of like two to two and a half hours if you include washing, styling and drying. If you include a deep condition, then baby, let's just bring that up to three hours. It was so long and it was so time consuming and I just didn't have the patience for it anymore. And what really irritated me was that um, because my hair was so big, obviously you can kind of see like, I have very, very thick hair. Like you cannot see my scalp. I have a lot of hair. So when my hair grows out super big, it grows up and out. It doesn't grow down. And I have a really small head if you haven't noticed. Like my head, if you guys can see, like I just have, I have a small head and like my shoulders a little bit more broad. And I just, mm, I don't know, I don't like it. And side note, you see this little frizzy piece right here. I'm just gonna add a little squirt of gel. I'm gonna smooth that through and probably finger coil because obviously this little piece is um, more prone to frizziness. So I'm just gonna rake it through and then just kind of take pieces and finger coil. So yeah, so I wanted to cut my hair for about two to three years before I actually did it, but I was just way too afraid of what people were gonna say or how they were gonna react or I was just kind of afraid of not being pretty anymore without my hair because all of my life I've always wanted long hair i never really wanted short hair but in the past few years i just really wanted a change and it just got to the point where it was just so time consuming it was taking a lot of money i got to the point where i was only wearing my hair in buns or ponytails like i did not wear it out at all i was tired of it it annoyed me i was barely doing it i wasn't deep conditioning it like i was not taking care of it and surprisingly so, my hair was actually still in very good condition. Like my stylist was just like, girl, your hair is resilient. Yeah, so that's kind of the backstory as to why I cut my hair. Now, as for um, growing it out, I haven't cut it since the end of March. So let's just say April. So now we're in mid or like the beginning of August. So May, June, July. August. So it's been about, let's just say four and a half months since I've cut my hair. I don't mind it growing at all, but once it gets to a length to where I have to use a comb or any tools in my hair, then we got to chop it back off. Like it doesn't have to go all the way back to the length it was when I first big chopped, but it needs to come back to like a length of like this length because I, I just don't have the time for it. Like it needs to be quick. It needs to be easy. Um, I feel beautiful with short hair. I actually really love how short hair looks on me. So yeah, that's kind of my hair journey um, post big chop. Um, yeah, if any of you guys are considering doing a big chop, why are you considering it? And are you gonna go through with it? Yes or no? And let me know why, because I'm curious to know because I know for myself, it took me about two years to make the actual um, leap. If you're feeling hesitant, don't be hard on yourself, but also don't be afraid to do something that will make you a little bit happier or make your life easier. Nobody is going to um, take the time to do your hair on a daily and nobody's going to spend money on products for you every single month. So if they have anything to say, honestly, it's irrelevant. Like how cute is this length it's so cute okay so i'm going to flip around and do the back and i'm going to speed it up for you guys so this video isn't super long and i will be back
I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair. Before I um, blow dry though, I am gonna add a few drops of my argan oil. Oh, and by this point, um, sometimes I'll use my little chirpy twist and I will just kind of pat the hair to get out the excess moisture. So I'll probably just do that right now, just cause it makes blow drying faster if it's not super wet. I do a light pat because I don't want to smush the hair in too much because then it can tangle and kind of get a little frizzy. So we'll just kind of go and try to get any of the excess water that's just sitting on top of the hair. And yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and diffuse my hair and then I'll come back to close out the video. So this is the finished product. I absolutely love my hair. I think this length is just perfect. For me, I think it suits my little head very nicely. It's so cute and fresh and simple. And that's just exactly what I need in my life right now, to be honest. For my edges, I use the Shine and Gem Conditioning Gel Extra Hold. I love this for my edges right now. I used to use Eco Styler, but it just doesn't, it doesn't work for me anymore. Ever since I did my big chop, it just does not lay down my edges like at all they just curl right back up it just doesn't stick for some reason i don't know if they changed the formula i have no clue but it doesn't work this works perfectly all that i have for you guys today i hope that you enjoyed this video i tried to make it a little bit different and have more of like a chit chat vibe because i noticed that i don't really talk much like i talk about what i'm doing but i don't say much about me or my experiences and i really want you guys to get to know me a little bit better so i hope that you guys enjoyed hearing my background story as to why i did my big chops so yeah if you like these types of videos just let me know down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it i'll be back very soon with another video and i'll see you guys later